It's highly personal to me. My uncle died at the age of about 21 due to sudden adult death. And this is where you get struck down by cardiac arrhythmia, which um, is often lethal. My project, in essence, was trying to help better diagnose hypertrophic cardiomyopathy in Afro-Caribbean athletes. And, you know, as we saw with the case of Fabrice Mwamba, he obviously didn't know he had hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and that's why he was still out on the field kicking that ball around. I was completely shocked when I saw the story on the news. He came this close to being a victim of sudden cardiac death. It was only because of the great medical team that he didn't die. I went to my cardiologist at the time, a professor at St George's University London Hospital. He told me, um, and I was also familiar with this fact, that, that the single largest cause of sudden adult death is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And he said to me, you know what, Henry, um, Afro-Caribbean athletes in particular are at high risk of this because despite all the research we currently put into cardiology, there's still a huge amount of ambiguity in diagnosing hypertrophic cardiomyopathy in Afro-Caribbean athletes. So I said, right, I want to do a research project in how we can help diagnose that better. When you're gliding, you wouldn't dream of flying a plane with a mechanical fault. I mean, in itself, the mechanical fault when the glider's sitting on the ground doesn't pose a hazard, but as soon as you take it up into there and start flying it, it's incredibly dangerous. Now, this is the case with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, but when it comes to the heart, there's no way of doing a daily inspection properly, it would seem, on Afro-Caribbean athletes. You can't use traditional diagnosing techniques because athletes can also suffer from athlete's heart, which is the thickening of the heart muscle. And since hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is also characterized by the thickening of the heart muscle, you have to use alternative diagnostic techniques such as cardiopulmonary exercise testing. And the parameter cardiopulmonary exercise testing uses is peak oxygen consumption. But these cutoff values are the same for Caucasian athletes and Afro-Caribbean athletes. No one had ever specifically conducted a study to look at the peak oxygen consumptions and when I brought the results to my professor he was in fact shocked by the clear disparity 